Hello guys and welcome to today's first video. Um, we're going to take a quick look at what is now Tropical Storm Ana. Um, Ana was able to fully transcend to a fully tropical disturbance yes, uh, during uh, last night's uh, D-Max. But that has since, you know, fell by the wayside as it's now looking like complete, you know, garbage right now. Um, obviously it's May though. So that's pretty much the uh, part of the normal for May systems. But we're here on the National Hurricane Center page, and here is Tropical Storm Ana. Its maximum sustained winds are at 35 knots, which is 40 miles an hour. Minimal central pressure is at 1,007 millibars. This is located at 36.6 .6 north, 59.4 west, and it's moving northeast at 12 knots or 14 miles an hour. Um, as you as you can see, the NHC says Ana barely holding on as a tropical cyclone. So I, I do have a feeling this is going to be dead and gone come tomorrow morning. So this is probably going to be my last update video on this as we go out through time today. Because uh, my main focus after this little portion of Ana is Invest 93B, which we will go over later. Alright, so let's go to the Tropical Tippets page here. And this is what Anna is looking like. So the, there's some convection there still, but it's still pre, it's pretty much a sad cloud right now. As, as you can see, we're gonna we're gonna actually go here. And uh, as you can see, there's two two areas here in which this is trapped in, and uh, both of these uh, things are squishing it pretty much. Um, that's why you see the convection waning because it's getting some wind shear from both of these. Uh, uh, entities here and uh, it tried to blow up a little bit of convection there about an hour ago but it was to no no cigar pretty much this is becoming a naked swirl now I, I bet here in the next hour two hours or so is all this convection is probably gonna be gone um, that's just what I think on it and you know, there's nothing else really to be said about, you know, Tropical Storm Ana. So, we're going to say goodbye to Ana, and uh, we're going to wait for the next Atlantic Tropical Disturbance to pop in, whenever that may be. Alright, so here is the main focus. This is Invest 93B. And this is located 16.5 north, 90.0 east. Maximum sustained winds are at 30, knot, 30 knots at 35 miles an hour. Minimal central pressure is 995 millibars. I do think that this will become a tropical cyclone by sometime later this evening or tonight. Um, at least that's what models are generally pointing towards. Um, it's still connected somewhat to the monsoonal trough. But uh, I do think that's uh, it's, it's it is starting to consolidate now, and uh, it's going to start taking off here before too long. All right, so uh, you know what? Let's let's refresh that real quick. See if the twelve Z is out uh, for the nope, it's not. All right, so we're going to deal with the six Z. Um, GEFS tracks a minimal MSLP, and uh. Here, here you go. Uh, some of these go into Bangladesh, but most of them go into India. Like I said, uh, India just got done dealing with a major tropical cyclone just last week. Uh, so this is not what India needs this time. But this time it's on the eastern side of India instead of the western side. So, you know, people in India need to pay attention to the next three or four days. And, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, this is just like a Talte, uh, uh, system. This, it's, doesn't really have anywhere to go but north. So, sadly, you know, somebody's gonna take this on the butt and, uh, you know, take, take this system at full force. You know, unfortunately, that's, that seems to be the case right now. Obviously, I'm not hyping this up or saying by any means it, that it's going to be super strong. I'm just saying that somebody is most likely going to feel effects from the system as we go out through time. So here we go. We're taking a look at the spaghetti plots here. And, uh, you know, seeing they're all over the place. Bangladesh, India. Um, 
there are some Browns in here. Uh, that's 970 to 960. And uh, this is the uh, the mean, the average of everything. Um, right now, the starting point is at 998 millibars. And as Tropical Tibbets showed, it has 995. So it's not too far off. And as we go out through time, you know, 9, 9, 978, 975, 975 is probably peak, and that's probably around landfall time. So this is what the G, uh, GEFS shows. What about the GEPS? Um, these, the GEPS numbers are more tightly clustered towards the Bangladesh uh, side of things than it is the India side of things. They're all, they're all spread out, though. So this is a pretty uh, large margin here. So the starting point here is a thousand and one millibars, and it's it's pretty much the same as the G uh, GEFS, and it pretty much has it peaking out at landfall at a nine hundred and seventy four millibar system. All right, so let's take a look at the infrared satellite loop here, and uh, as you can see. It's still trying to bundle itself up, up together. It still has a little bit of work to do, but I do expect this to become bundled, you know, sometime this evening uh, or tonight, Eastern Daylight Time. Um, it's, it's already at a 900 and I think 900 and, oh, that's the wrong one. It's a, the Tropical Tibbets uh, said 995 millibars is the current pressure, so. If, the, if it wasn't looking like this, it would already be a tropical cyclone. But it's got to do a little bit more tightening up to do, and then it's going to be good to go. Okay, we're going to be looking at the GF, uh, GFS, and this is an initialize of 12 zero, And the forecast is at 6 hours, which is 6 hours from that point in time at 12Z. So 18Z Sunday. So yeah, that's this evening. Uh, let's take a look at the wind shear here. 29 knots. So wind shear is probably going to be a problem going forward. So let's go out 24 hours. Oh, and as you can tell, the center the center lines of this are really wonky. So there's, there's something going on with that, that that needs to fix itself before it really takes off, at least according to the GFS. All right. 24 hours, we've got a 980 millibar system here. So how's the wind shear looking at? We might look at 10 knots. Yep, that's that's definitely favorable. We'll, we'll probably look at the other knot, not, uh, uh, shear map of the GFS after this. All right, 48 hours. As you can see, we got a strength, strengthening tropical cyclone here. We're at the 968 millibars. And it's working with 22 knots, which is borderline. Uh, 72 hours. It's making landfall at 72 hours. It looks like according to the GFS. So three days from now, GFS is predicting landfall. So we're gonna see what the. Uh, we we can't even look at that. So I guess we'll uh, we'll have to look at it a different way. All right, 96 hours. Still a wind maker. It's definitely a rain maker over eastern India as we go out the time. 120. It's still raining itself out over northeastern India. All right, so now we're going to take a look at the wind shear. Uh, if I can remember, okay, this might do it right here. No, that's definitely not it. Uh, here we go. This is more like it. Sometimes we all have a have a brain brain fart. Sometimes. And as you can see, okay, let's get let's get to this here. So as you can see, to the north and east of us, the the wind shear is pretty good. So at this point in time, it's definitely in some uh, not so favorable wind shear environment. At that point in time, twenty four hours, as you can see, it's uh, squished between the favorable and semi favorable wind shear. So it's, that should be enough to really get it going. 48 hours. It might be in this small pocket of favorable wind shears here. So, but there is strong wind shear surrounding this besides this small little, you know, area right here. So that's probably what it's taking advantage of. 
72 hours. It's still, it's still inside that pocket of favorable wind shear. So that's pretty amazing. That's a small little bit right there. Um, everything else seems to be, you know, moderate uh, wind shear. So this is what the stopping point we're going to do do here with the wind shear because it's already going to be on, on uh, land after that point. All right, so here's the ECMWF. This is the Euro European model. Um, this is initialized at 12Z on the 22nd. Okay, never mind. We're, we're good. This is uh, initialized at uh, 0Z on May 23rd. Sorry about that. It, it looked confusing there for a moment. Um, as you can see, this is a thousand and one millibars, so it definitely has some a low pressure system there, and it's agreeing on it. Twenty four hours, nine 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 hundred ninety three millibars, so it's starting to tightly cluster around. Um, Forty eight hours, nine hundred and eighty four millibars, and then three days out, nine seven nine hundred seventy eight millibars, which is a solid category two. So. The GFS and the European both want this making landfall in three days' time. So, you know, that's not a huge window of time to get ready and prepared. That's why I'm going to be on top of this for you guys as we go out through time. So we're going to see what happens. 96 hours out, four days. It's still a win at Rind and Rainmaker 2 with the European. And uh, one to five days out, 995 millibars in northeast from India. So it's still producing some good winds and I'm sure some very heavy rainfall. So once again, three days time seems that's all we got to prepare for landfall. As we all know, this can change at the drop of a dime. So, you know, three days could be two days, three days could be four days. You know, it just depends on what it does and how quickly it wants to move. Okay, so here's the C C surface temperatures, and we're going to be looking into this area right in here where we got the massive shades of pink going on here. So we got 30s, 31s, and 32s popping up here. So this is rocket jet fuel for the storm to really grow and intensify when the time comes. Uh, so the, the water temperatures are not going to be a problem. It's not going to help weaken it at all. So to decide the fate of, of this tropical cyclone, you can throw the, the waters out the window. So that, that's, I always say that when we see 30s, 31s, and 32s, because the, the water temperatures don't matter. This is hot tub of water. So it's definitely got that to feed off of as we go out through the next like two or three days. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. I will be back again this evening with another update on this potential tropical cyclone. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice night.